Three calendar views, day, week, and month, help you stay on top of a busy schedule. But did you know each view is customizable? You can change background colors, the time scale shown, and even which days of the week appear. Here in the day view, you can see calendar items on a grid. From this view, it is easy to tell when you're busy and when you have free time. You can customize the time scale shown. For example, instead of 30 minute segments, you can choose 15 minute segments. Right click on the calendar and then click Other Settings. In the Time Scale drop down list, there are several options from 5 minutes to 60 minutes. Just click the one you want. In the Week view, you have additional options that you can customize. First, you can decide which days of the week are shown. To show just the work week, which by default is defined as Monday through Friday, click Show Work Week. If you want to define what days make up the work week, that's simple to do. On the Tools menu, click Options, and then click Calendar Options. Under Calendar Work Week, you can change the work week to match your work week. For example, if you work Monday through Thursday, you can turn off Friday by clearing the checkbox for Friday. Now the calendar shows Monday through Thursday, but you can still quickly see the complete week by clicking Show Full Week. Back in the calendar options, I can also specify the day my week starts on. For example, I'll change Sunday to Tuesday and set my working days as Tuesday through Saturday. One other change I can make is how my working hours are displayed. I'll set 9 to 6 for my work hours. Hours outside of this time will be shown as shaded on my calendar. If you're in an organization that uses an Exchange server, it will help others to know when you're available for scheduling meetings. Notice the shading that corresponds to the times I set for the start and end of my work hours. But don't worry, you can still place items in the shaded times. When I click on the month view, my custom setting that starts the week on Tuesday follows to this view as well. For now, I'll change back to a standard week. By standard, I mean the Monday through Friday work week that's the default in Outlook 2007. But remember, if at any time you want to adjust your work week, it's simple to do in calendar options. This looks like the calendar you're probably most familiar with. The month view calendar also has custom settings exclusive to this view. At the top of the calendar, you'll see three choices for the amount of details shown on the calendar. The low setting only shows all day events. The medium setting shows your appointments and meetings, but only as a bar with no text details. You can tell quickly at a glance which days in the month are your busiest. The high setting adds the start time, subject, and meeting organizer name as space permits. Another option in the month view is to replace the date ranges on the left of the calendar grid with the week number. On the Tools menu, click Options, and then click Calendar Options. Under the Calendar Options section, select the Show Week Numbers in the Month View and Date Navigator checkbox. The date range is replaced by the week number. While we're customizing the calendar, how about setting a different background color? Go back to Calendar Options, and then choose the color you want. There are 15 colors to choose from. Finally, in the day and week views, on the left of the calendar grid, you see the time legend. If you work with people in another time zone, you can add a second time legend to the display. Just like many other calendar settings, it's found in calendar options. Click time zone, select the show an additional time zone checkbox, and then click the second time zone you want. You can even add your own labels to the time zone legends to make it clear which time legend corresponds to a time zone. I'll label the first one Seattle and the second one Atlanta. Your primary time legend always appears adjacent to the calendar grid. Customize your calendar the way you want it with Office Outlook 2007.